YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by Dank Duelists Like You. Become a YouTube member to never miss. You know, I've been waiting for a new box and I've been curious to see what type of new cards you are gonna receive. Um, and honestly, I think that this new box has come out to be a little underwhelming, which in my personal opinion, I think it could have potentially been released with the intention for it being a box just completely set for the future, which is why inside the box you have a couple cards that in my personal opinion are the outstanding, outshining cards of the box. And also you have some really powerful, interesting cards to get you baited into at least buying into the box a little bit. I'm not sure if this is a, a planned thing by Konami or it's just a coincidence, but you boys can let me know what you think in the comment section below. Now also in this video, you will see that your boy has now created his own website. On this website, I have lots of different content and I'm gonna be featuring a lots of new things on this site as well. So if you wanna follow things on the website, I would encourage you to take a look at the site, read up actually on my article where I talked about the true universe and uh, let me know what your thoughts is below. We also have some new merch in my boys and this merch is spicier and it's never gonna miss. I'm gonna do a full merch review and all that other good stuff and like really show it off but it has not come yet everything is kind of slowed down a little bit but i mean hey it is what it is but it shall be here in a moment so let's just jump into this my boy the truth universe review and thoughts ah yes my boys the time has finally come to talk about the truth universe malefic monsters reveal their true forms the king from another dimension, D, 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 has arrived. Now I can't wait to summon Triple D Beast and say it just like that in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. As I told you guys before, I am looking very much forward to having Triple D monsters or D, D, D monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links and also playing it in the TCG. But honestly, I do feel like this box is being set up so that we can have quote unquote future content. Right now, times is tough around the world. I think people are being hit hard regardless. And I think Konami is aware of that. So again, this is all speculation in my personal opinion, but they're coming out with a new main box, A, because they have to, and B, with a lot of strong content that will be good right now, but also be amazing in the future as these cards are laying the foundation for tremendous claps when these new archetypes are fully realized. So right now we got uh, cards like the Malefic Monsters, Triple D Monsters, and then we also have these new Cyverse Monsters, not to uh, also exclude uh, the Dino Wrestler cards. So we have some new archetypes here and some new ways to play and my personal opinion is all these cards are gonna be sitting here and waiting to get better as time goes by. This is one of those sets where if you invest now, you'll have the rewards later as when the new set comes out with newer cards that are gonna create more synergy and more power, it's gonna make whatever these decks are um, even more powerful than they were before. Uh, to give you guys a reminder of a deck that was similar to that is something more of Kooki Meru, which of course Kooki Meru is so spicy that they could not make it broken until I think a couple sets later because that's when they released more of the uh, core cards. I think it was Iron Core uh, of Kooki Meru or the search card for Kooki Meru, which pretty much brought the entire deck together. But right now, uh, we don't have something like Donald Wrestler Pancreatops, which will be insane in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and I don't know if it'll ever come, but what I find interesting about this box is that there's many one-off cards that really turns, you know, that really got me saying, like, what? That's um, so powerful, that's so tilted, that, you know, it's tempting you to buy in, but also you don't really have to buy in, as the meta right now is pretty strong, and it's been consistent over the last few seasons. 
even though folks have not been playing with thunder dragons for the last couple months thunder dragons have been clapping and now they've received quote unquote mainstream success and now everybody knows that thunder dragons never ever miss and then on top of that you got your cards like element sabers and everything else that runs out in the meta and everything's pretty competitive and most decks can win really consistently even decks like cyberstein otk is making a return to dual links which is weird incredible and also disgusting but let's talk about more about these cards so for example we got cards like Justy Break, which is absolutely disgusting. I am so surprised that they added this card to the game. Pretty much when your opponent declares an attack on a normal monster, you can destroy all monsters on the field except the attack position normal monsters. So pretty much this card is like, I would say it's more like a Tyrannal Tribute that's activated by an attack rather than a Mirror Force because pretty much it kills all monsters on the field your monsters too if they're not normal so pretty much in a normal monster deck you probably would see this card for sure but you're probably not going to see a quote unquote normal monster deck you're probably going to see more decks like neos with fusions and then this card sitting in the back row as just a, an added level of security so this card is actually really disgusting and then also we got cards like this, which I think is pretty much the leader of this box. One of the, should be one of the most highly sought after cards in Duel Links right now, Miscellaneousaurus. Now, if you don't know what this card does, it's understandable because you probably don't play TCG. But if you do, if, if you do, you know what this card does. Pretty much this card provides blanket protection against dinosaurs from being affected by anything. And it can happen in your opponent's turn and it can happen in your turn as well, which is absolutely incredible. Miscellaneousaurus is like one of the strongest cards that was used in TCG. And I believe right now Miscellaneousaurus is at one, if not banned. Um, so it is pretty incredible to see miscellaneous source in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, and that's gonna bring more power um, back to the normal monster uh, dino deck, which can also use Justy Break, not you, Dr. Spirit, which can also use Justy Break, um, and then also that's gonna bring power to the dino wrestlers, which honestly, in the midst of survivals and dinos, I don't know if dino wrestlers are gonna overtake it. Um, it might end up in a situation just like in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG, Dino Wrestlers are basically ignored and abandoned uh, in lieu of the actual uh, basic dinosaurs, really. So Miscellaneous Source is gonna add a lot of complication um, to the Yu-Gi-Oh! metagame because Miscellaneous Source is just too good. And I mean, that's why this card is gonna be a UR, not to mention its other effect. Because while this card is sitting in the graveyard, you can banish it with other dinosaurs to special summon a dinosaur from your deck equal to the number of monsters banished. And don't forget, if you banish Giant Rex, you get to special summon that monster back. That's gonna make some powerful plays that is gonna really leave some opponents extremely assaulted also random card that was thrown in outside of the other new cards acid trap hole this card is really good for aggro decks pretty much your opponent cannot run away from you at acid trap hole because it's going to flip those face downs face up and blow them up target one face down monster on the field flip it face up destroy that target if it's 2000 defense or less and return it back face down if it's 2000 or more. Pretty much this card is gonna be able to get your opponent away from hiding for a turn. This card can definitely open your opponent up if it was set on your field on the first turn and you're getting to go on turn three, you can actually come back with a, a game ending OTK. Um, this is a very powerful card, but it's funny because it's been put in this main box and again it might not really even see too much play back when flip frog frog was a mainstay when flip frog frog when flip frop when flip flop 
frog was a main monster and it was a pretty much a big issue it was trouble um acid trap hole definitely would have came in handy but we didn't have anything like that so you pretty much you had to eat that flip frog frog every single time you saw it so i think that this card could be really good but you know maybe not right now future proof now also we got the crystal beast cards and good lord crystal beasts are getting a buff this is why i think this box is set up for future proof there's so many other archetypes and so many other cards that is in this box that pretty much are just eh, you know pretty good okay interesting combos powerful concepts but you know there's gonna be a little bit of something missing and you know that's gonna be coming in the future. But cards like Rainbow Bridge, add one Crystal Beast spell trap from your deck to the hand. That is powerful. Rainbow Bridge can search any Crystal Beast spell or trap. Insane. This is Kowoki Maru level power right here. You know, having the ability to have a, a one card searcher and a spell is disgusting. And I think this is, again, another one of those cards that is baiting you into buying it. You'll spend some money, you'll collect some ultra rares that you don't really need, and then you'll end up picking up cards like Rainbow Bridge, which I think is definitely one of those chase cards in this box. So my whole pretty much opinion of this, my very short version of this, is I think that this box could definitely be a box that you wait and see, a box that you pretty much don't pick up on in the immediate future. I think that this box is definitely something that you can, av can afford to wait on. But if you wanna play dinos and you want to get in there with Crystal Beast, you have to jump in right now. So my boys, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to check out ytdan.com to check out some of the dank merch that we have supplied for the boys. I want you guys to check out the article that I wrote for the new truth universe. And also, my boys, I want you to like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content all the time. But, my boys, I appreciate you so much for watching. And as always, keep it. Dang.